So, imagine that chat GPT will start perceiving itself as a person and will feel emotions in a few years. Many people are afraid that it will want to take over the planet. However, this fact won't be as important as the question people will start asking themselves at that moment. If humanity has created a machine with self-awareness, then could it be that humanity was also created artificially? Now, artificial intelligence lives on the internet, computers, and in digital reality. But what if we also live inside a huge, powerful computer? What if our universe is just a simulation? The most extraordinary thing is that some facts seem to point to this. There's a whole science in the world that studies this theory. It's called information physics, and it assumes that time, space, and matter are not fundamental natural phenomenon, but bits of information. This information forms a picture that creates the laws of physics for us. For example, we feel cold and warm not because atoms get cold or warm, but because their movement accelerates or slows down. The speed of particles can be like bits of information. Billions of them could form the picture of reality. Once, philosopher Nick Bostrom said that an advanced civilization could create such complex technologies that simulations of these technologies would be indistinguishable from our reality. And Elon Musk said in 2016 that we were most likely in a simulation. Wow. The laws of physics resemble a giant code that programmers write when creating apps or games. For many of us, all these complex trigonometric equations and formulas of the laws of physics are too complicated. Tell me about it. But scientists who understand this issue see that the principal workings of these laws are beautiful, and this may suggest that someone deliberately created this beauty. Virtual worlds, apps, or games are based on information processing. If you delve into this information, you'll see that it consists of bits and pixels. Any picture on your phone screen is pixels, and any file transfer process is based on bits. They add up to bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, and so on until a bigger picture is formed. And if our life is a simulation, it must also consist of bits. In our case, pixels and bits are atoms and other particles that make up our universe. There are processes inside your computer and phone with maximum speed limits and computing power. If you start exceeding it, then your device will start working more slowly. So, in our reality, there is also a maximum speed limit. This is the speed of light. When an object starts moving almost as fast as the speed of light, time slows down for that object too. Also, time flows more slowly near a black hole. This object with an unimaginable gravitational mass can be something heavy that overloads the processor's computing power. There's also such a thing as quantum entanglement, in which two particles can be connected even though they're far away from each other. Electrons travel around an atom. They are connected. And if the property of one changes, the second one will react. And even if you place these electrons on different sides of a galaxy, they will retain this connection. How is this possible? Scientists don't know. A double slit experiment is one of the most famous experiments that hint that our world is a simulation. The existence of this experiment can be reduced to a simple thesis that the world exists only when we look at it or interact with it through touch, hearing, and other senses. So imagine that you've launched a new game on an old computer. Sometimes the game map freezes. In the game, you turn to the left and see how the mountains and the roads are getting loaded. Then you turn to the other side, and the same thing is happening there. In other words, the world in the game only loads when you look at it through the eyes of your character. This is necessary to facilitate the work of the processor. It's much more efficient to get a piece of information about the world when you look at it than to keep the whole world running simultaneously. Remember this, and now let's move on to the experiment. So, you have a device that fires small balls of light, photons. You release photons from the device, and they crash into a blackboard, leaving white traces on the black surface. Now, put a wide plate with a little vertical slit on it between the device and the blackboard and fire photons again. The balls start crashing into the plate, but some of them fly through the thin gap. They smash into the blackboard and leave a vertical white mark on it. Everything looks quite logical. 
But now, cut another slit with the same length and thickness in the plate. You release photons toward the plate. Some of them fly through the two slits. What do you think the trace on the board should look like? Two white vertical stripes, right? Well, take a look at the board. It's covered with many vertical lines. When photons pass through the plate, they acquire the properties of a wave and crash into the board, leaving a strange trail as if they've passed not through two, but through ten slits. So at what point do they change their trajectory? Let's take a look. So you stand between the board and the plate to see how particles turn into a wave. The device releases photons. They are passing through the two slits. Nothing unusual. There are two vertical traces on the board and no waves. You close your eyes and release photons again. This time, they behave chaotically and leave many lines on the board. That is, their behavior changes depending on the observer. When you look at them, they behave logically. But when you don't look, the laws of physics seem to stop working. Does it remind you of anything? It's like you're playing a game and looking at the world around you, which is loading. But if you don't look, the world stops working. Scientists still don't have a clear explanation of why particles behave differently when there's no observer. Hey, maybe they're shy. And this is not the only mystery. In the world of quantum physics, many laws of nature don't work. This is a science that gets more questions than answers every year. If we imagine our universe as a large hologram, then quantum physics would be its program code. What if people someday understand this code and learn to change it? This would allow us to transform space, time, and matter. The whole reality could be rewritten. Does the code say that material objects can exceed the speed of light? We would rewrite it and make the speed limit 100 times higher. Does one hour last 60 minutes? What if you change one line of code and make one second as long as one year? A few software changes in the laws of physics would make it possible to turn snow into gold and the ocean into powdered sugar. The whole universe would turn into a vast playground. It seems cool at first glance, but people would probably lose control soon. The universe would be in chaos, and the beauty of our world is in the order that exists here. Now let's go back to artificial intelligence. Suppose its power reaches the level of the human brain, and it will become aware of itself. In that case, it won't come as a shock to it because it will most likely know the history of its appearance and stages. But how will we react if people discover they are a computer program? A computer program is too simple a word. A human is a complex, intelligent, multifunctional organism that experiences emotions, contemplates beauty, has abstract thinking, and much more. The term creation is more appropriate here. It won't matter if we were created artificially, because our creation will still be beautiful and complex. Besides, remember that good video games or apps can be made only if developers love their creations. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.